Hey, what's up, Virgos? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notification bells are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Today I will be doing a message for you all, so keep in mind this message is general. If you need a personal, be sure to email me, as well as the memberships that have exclusive readings that are here for you only if you have a membership. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What is it that we might need to know? What's the message? Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have the page of pentacles. So either somebody's sending you a message or giving you a gift or this is you. Okay, I feel like there's something that you're learning, taking in, gaining knowledge for. Whatever this knowledge is, you feel like, oh my God, what's going on? Or you might have been anxious to hear this or you might be anxious to tell whatever this is. It has something to do with a lover or somebody that you have compassion for. Okay, because I've seen the two of cups. So somebody here is admiring a person or who they are, what they might have done. I'm hearing nobility. Like somebody was very noble. Way too many. What's this page of pentacles? The ten of cups. Beautiful. Beautiful energy, y'all. I feel like you're learning to love. You are learning to give love or um, you are spending a lot of time with family. You're, you're embracing the love that you give or get. Okay. I feel like somebody has been very wounded, strained, or felt like they've had a lot going on. Somebody here could be giving a person comfort. Somebody here could be getting met married. Maybe you're finding out somebody's married or maybe there is a um, ring that's being given. Um, we have the temperance here. Sagittarius energy. Something is being balanced or you found your counterpart. I feel like you're, you're taking a little minute to get yourself ba balanced or together or something like that. Okay, there is total tranquility, peace, harmony. Tell me more about this page of pentacles, the page of cups. Somebody could have been holding back from a person how they feel or what they want in terms of commitment. I do see here that it could be challenging for a person to um, speak up for themselves or, or um, use communication to speak on how they feel or what they want, especially since if y'all were in a relationship previous to this commitment, there could have been a break in this relationship, but I feel like somebody has grown. Somebody is learning to communicate. That's what it is. And I feel like if someone cannot communicate, they're able to strategize and, and show you this here. Yeah, there was a secret of an ending. There was some sort of holdback or secret about an ending here. Maybe somebody's telling you that a marriage is over, or that somebody is leaving a person to be married or um, whatever this is. What's this page of cups? Page of cups is a three of cups. Somebody was dating a person and not telling you about it or somebody was a little bit more mature than them. Um, I do see that this conversation, this conversation made someone emotional or, or there's a masculine that was afraid to show you what was going on because they thought it would make you emotional or whatever. Yeah. Because they know they had feelings for you. That's what I'm picking up. The lover's energy, Gemini, somebody could have been dating a, um, 
a person that was, you know, going through personal growth. That could have been a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's this Ten of Cups? This marriage, this balance, this domesticated um, harmony. This is family. This is legacy. This is partnership. Let's see. This is commitment. So somebody here that is a water sign or has water in their chart committed to you. I feel like this is someone that is grounded, knows what they want, is a hard worker, very intelligent, handsome. Yeah, all of that. Five of wands in reverse. Five of wands in the middle of the deck in reverse. So I feel like somebody knew that they had to keep themselves grounded, use their intelligence, be more of a family man and accept what they want here. Mm hmm. I do feel like somebody may not have always been the nicest person or didn't know how to show that softer side of them. However, they are creating a, a uh, pathway for this to take place or wanting a fresh start. OK, this person is watching you or using a, a younger air sign to do this here or they're learning information through other people about you or this is you about them. What's this emperor here? We have the king of pentacles. So this person feels like um, they have competition or this is someone that this emperor knows. Okay, somebody's trying to block a king of pentacles from coming towards you for a commitment or something like that, Virgo. What's the temperance here? Somebody is trying to prove that they are your yin to your yin, that you don't need anybody else. You wouldn't want from anyone. You need somebody that's a little more older, more mature, that can show you things, that can take you to the next level. I'm telling you, chariot energy. But with the four of pentacles, this is earth energy. Somebody, somebody here feels like they need to take time out to think. I feel like someone is filtering out the things that they are wanting to nurture and flourish. He's holding on to these sunflowers. So obviously he feels like this is his peace, his, his joy, his, his happy place. Somebody is definitely manifesting a new fresh start or them wanting to take um, action into their own hands to come together with you. But they feel like because of the relationship being strained in the recent past that you may not want to be with them. You'd rather be without them. Two of cups. Okay. I'm going to stop that there. Okay, so we have ladder. Somebody here is going to climb towards success. You're being given an offer or an opportunity to do this. Your guides, your spiritual team is telling you that you will be protected from negative forces beyond your control when it comes to your money, your, your, your finances, your career, anything that you put your um, signature on, um, that you touch, it will flourish, especially with these coins coming in. But I do see when it comes to you getting to the top, somebody needs to make sure that they're not getting beside themselves. OK, or allowing people at the bottom to control your emotions, your anger or whatever this is. This is what somebody was set out to do here. OK, so there is a misunderstanding when it comes to a particular person. It could be an older man or maybe you're getting guidance from this older man. OK, you have a spiritual guide that's a, a masculine here. We have kangaroo. So unsettling times that you need to plan for that could cause temporary problems. So you getting on this ladder, you're up there, but something happens or there's some sort of misunderstanding that messes up the flow of things. Pay attention to your health here. <clears throat> somebody definitely is trying to cut off your throat chakra. OK, somebody likes when you're under the weather or um, your voice is hoarse or whatever this is here. All right. 
and be careful of your children passing on, you know, anything to you. I know you can't really help that, but that's something I wanted to put out there. What's this temporary problem? Okay, so the temporary problem is not listening to um, criticism and causing yourself to, you know, lash out with anger. You could be taking something the wrong way or, or personal, but somebody's trying to, you know, be there for you. We have needle and thread. So a sincere wish will be granted. Something is going to be granted for you when it comes to reconciliation. I see an opportunity, which is what we see here, and you being protected. So you could have been angry at what somebody said or how they said it, or somebody feels like they know more than you, but they're not on the same level as you here. Yeah, you're stepping into a new experience, even if that means there is some sort of delay or setback um, on a personal level. We have rooster. An arrogant, boastful person you shouldn't cross. So somebody that could possibly be giving you criticism or granting you the opportunity to step into a new experience, this could happen in the month of August. Okay. Beware because there could be something that stops this whole opportunity because of a family matter. Okay. But I do see that you will be protected. You have protection from a powerful friend. I'm going to turn this down. All right. Message for... Virgo. So we have libation. So I feel like with the support of your spiritual team, people that may have a certain type of religion, are you going to church? Um, just really trying to manifest. I feel like when you give offerings and you pray and you follow your religion, you're trying to gain some type of compromise here. Okay. Stay balanced with yourself at this time. Give yourself the self-love that you need. Somebody's really focusing on everything that has to do with themselves. The number 58 could be significant. We have adventure. So there's something pertaining to travel, exploration, discovery. You're, you're going for everything that you want right now. Okay, but you feel trapped. Or somebody may be trying to jam you up so that you're either mentally confined or you go to jail here. Somebody's trying to make you confined to your emotions or try to do something to make you angry because of something that they're saying. Don't let somebody put you in a box here. Okay, you might need to speak to a life coach, a therapist, or someone that has um, expertise in the area that they can help you. Okay. Somebody here could be an Aquarius, a Taurus. We have live and learn. So this is giving me like page of pentacles. Somebody here that is inexperienced, doesn't have proper training for something. I feel like they can't allow something to last for a long time. Okay. Somebody here could be trying to do something to you or maybe there's an omen. You're getting an omen of something that, that is needing to be cautioned for. Okay, something being temporary or not meant to be long term. We have 27. That could be significant. Somebody could be born on the 27th. Okay, so we have readiness, number 44. Somebody is getting ready or prompting themselves for um, reality. Somebody's trying to gain something to come into reality or make something real. But I feel like something is not very well maintained. And I think that you're being distracted by other people that are trying to bully you or not allow you to consider something. This is when you need to ground yourself and only concern yourself with, you know, healing 
and being independent, doing something on your own. Wow, beautiful energy. So we have blessing and natural disasters in reverse. So I feel like somebody is purposely trying to um, find out what you're good at, what is able to make you feel fulfilled and how they can turn a risk into a disaster, like a purposeful disaster. OK, I feel like there's some sort of misunderstanding that's going on. This is what they're trying to do. Build some type of conflict so that you won't persevere, so that you won't achieve something, so that you won't gain victory. But you're obviously having some type of fulfillment. So somebody's purposefully trying to cause matters of, of conflict, disrupting your peace or something like that. I'm hearing the, the name Usman, U-S-M-A-N. OK, somebody could be Muslim here. We have promise. Promises in reverse. Somebody here is unable to keep or hold their word on a promise that they made or this is you. I feel like somebody here um, may want to tell you something, but um, it's on a private basis. This is something that is a personal matter um, from the past. I feel like this is not life threatening, but this is something in regards to emotions that could be bothering someone. I feel like something is undetermined or something like that. Tell me more about this promise. Okay, an accident. Something something that somebody did accidentally. This could be an injury, you being cautioned for something before it happens, or there is some sort of particular danger. So somebody here went back on their promise when it came to uh, a situation, and it looks like it could make you angry. This is something that you could have profited from, but they made sure that you didn't. Yeah, this is somebody you couldn't trust, or you felt like you were unjustified. Somebody may have done something to make sure that you didn't. It's this, this person that's bringing conflict. It's someone that may have told another person about what it is that you're doing, or they might have been listening or overhearing something. You could be surveilled without you even knowing this. I feel like whatever gift that you are supposed to have, somebody heard about it, or they've been surveilling you, or or they're just one step ahead of you in some way, shape, or form. I'm kind of curious about this uh, this natural disaster and blessing. In re like, yeah, what is this natural disaster in reverse when it comes to your blessing? Okay, somebody did not want something that you were supposed to be blessed with to be reserved for you. This could have something to do with a commitment, a marital commitment, or just a commitment with a contract or something like that. They try to chop you up so that you wouldn't be able to gain some type of commitment contractual, marital, or, or business related or whatever. Okay. What is it that you're getting ready for? What's jump starting for you? Wow. Somebody's getting ready to make sure that you don't have a, have space to move around, travel, or go anywhere. Somebody wants you to be mentally, spiritually, or physically confined or this is somebody, somebody's going to get ready to try to block you from your blessings and they're going to get blocked through the universe spiritually, or this could be a physical jail situation. I feel like whatever or whomever is sick, I feel like whatever somebody wanted you to be sick with or plagued with, it's not going to work. Tell me more about this, this confinement energy. Somebody's going to be confined for uh, putting something into your home or leaking some type of gas or, or uh, rubbing something on your door, any surfaces you're supposed to touch. You were supposed to get really sick, but they can't control the situation anymore. Okay. Somebody wanted you homeless. Yeah, they were trying to disturb you with dark energies, entities, allow you to have dark attachments. Um, on you. Yeah, they wanted you to be afraid, paranoid or whatever this is. Somebody here sent a dark spirit after you or was trying to disrupt or disturb your home. Somebody here needs to do a spiritual bath. 
a cleanse of their home. Just start praying in every single room. I feel like this is real life. This is not something that's made up. But somebody has no authority. None. We have self-love. So I feel like somebody is just focused on themselves at this time. Or you're taking the, the day out to focus on yourself or do something nice. I feel like whatever this uh, extrovert energy is, somebody, somebody want to give you some type of love. Okay, but I feel like somebody's in cahoots with other people to make sure that you are not wealthy for whatever reason. Let's see here. What is the ancestral message? Okay, so we have here enchantment, celebration. So good for you, Virgo. You're celebrating something. There's something that's going to uplift your spirit or shift your energy to this happy time to raise your vibrations. You're celebrating something. Iku, transformation. You're celebrating a transformation or a change that's happening in your life or you're gaining new vibrations for a, um, a past situation to just flow through for you to indulge in this new light. Okay, it's bringing this Agbaye energy bliss here. You are a manifester of the universe. You're ready for lasting success. This could include travel. You're going to feel fulfilled. Listen to your guides and you will be whole. Let's see here. Let's see what a hater got to say and why they hate you. Somebody here needs to possess a talisman to amplify positive vibes. Somebody is sending negative energies towards you. This could be a, um, a light skinned woman or a Caucasian female. Okay. It doesn't have to be, or someone with feminine energy. We have beware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. Okay, cut this person off because they're still watching. Okay, this is person. This is a person that wants you to enable your toxic side. Be careful not to overindulge in alcohol, beverages, or drug use. We have the person causing you negativity is an Earth sign. So somebody could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn here. Yeah, somebody hate tweets towards you. Petty birds tweet tweets. So somebody's on Twitter tweeting about you or some type of social media platform. Somebody is causing you to lose your appetite or causing unexplained body pain and numbness. Yeah, I've been feeling that in my back, but not so much. I know how to combat this. We have amethyst, psychic protection control, spiritual energies while dreaming. And can help with insomnia and nightmares. Somebody wants you to have bad dreams or nightmares. They're trying to attack you in the dream state. Keep a protection pouch on or with you. We have personality disorder. They don't know who, how to be themselves or who they even are. The person causing you negativity is a fire sign. So you have an earth and fire sign significantly trying to cause you some sort of, yeah, somebody needs to take a spiritual bath. Altering your values and morals on making life decisions. So earth sign and fire sign is significant here. Get a dream catcher to hang over your bed. So somebody is really dead set on trying to get, bring negative energy towards you. Yeah, return to sender backfired on them. So everything that they're doing right now in, in your life spiritually is going back to them. Yeah, they're trying to cause unexplained body and numbness and turning others against you. But everything will be returned back to sender and backfired on them here. Okay. Let's go into this card here. OK, 
Okay, so you're going to hear about something or there's something that's going to be shaken up or shake up a situation. Okay, this has something to do with you self-indulging, focusing on yourself. That, that's been a lot in the read. Just focus on yourself. Okay, even if that means you got to do something on your own, focus on yourself. You've definitely got, come into this transformation. Okay, I feel like that's allowing you to use your discernment because you have somebody that could be trying to disrupt your, your peace. Okay, you're going to be in a new phase with a soulmate partnership or connection or there's an agreement between the two of you about this. Yeah, somebody want to tell you something or maybe something is going to make sense with truth or clarity coming in. Tell me more about this sword and rose. We have the axe. Somebody here is going to tell you about a, about a separation that they're going through, or maybe you had to separate yourself because there was too many codependencies, control, and things of that nature. Yeah, somebody here may have been seen cheating, hooking up, or dealing with a third party on the side. We have keys on a ring. Somebody needed to release their person for that same reason. I do see that there's some type of abundance in a risk that you're taking, but you're not to show your hand. You are to move in silence here. Yeah, when you move in silence, you will receive an unconditional love. Yeah, you're going to be giving and receiving this energy. We've already seen that with the page of pentacles. Okay. You are walking into stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance. Yeah, you're not chasing anybody, especially when it comes to options here. You're letting things happen the way that they should. We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship. So I feel like somebody here that may be separating from their person may want to come back to you towards you because of something you're able to manifest and they're trying to use it for themselves. I feel like this will soon reveal exactly who this person is and whether you love this person or not, you need not to... Um, deal with this person, but it looks like that's just for somebody to realize. Okay. Somebody's always going to go through unresolved situations or feelings with someone because they're not able to let them go. Okay. Somebody here is happy that they're releasing a person that they cannot have this yin yang energy with. Somebody's not allowing a person to use their dangerous or toxic ways to keep or hold them back. That's what I'm picking up on. Somebody's not allowing a person that used to be obsessed with them to, to be shady. Somebody's trying to come off authentic. Yeah, they're like, I'm not trying to start no problems or bring drama. But this person is definitely trying to come in to chase clout off of being around you. Okay, somebody wants to be in some sort of hot water. They don't care what it is so that they can be on the shade room or whatever this is here. We have groupie. I don't even think that somebody is even like cut out to be a groupie. Okay. Somebody wishes, I'm telling you, somebody wishes that they had certain spiritual gifts or that they were as awakened as you so that they can be a divine counterpart to a masculine. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to end it here, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this resonates, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.